We're getting ready for a big weekend here at the RMU Island Sports Center. The Colonials welcome number two Minnesota. The Golden Gophers will be in on Friday and Saturday. I'm Matt Geico alongside junior Lexi Templeman from Staffa, Ontario. Lexi, two weeks ago, a good start for your team, a couple of uh, resounding wins against Union, but then you had a week off. So how has the team handled that uh, quirk in the schedule here early this season? Yeah, it's actually definitely nice for us because we get to uh, use the weekend off to our advantage and get lots of rest heading into this big weekend. Um, we got to work a lot on our systems and different things that we thought we needed to improve on after our weekend against Union. So it's, it's sometimes hard to get into the flow of the season when you have a weekend off so early, but um, we definitely used it to our advantage and got lots of, lots of rest and ready to uh, handle Minnesota. Now, when you look back at last year, you broke out a lot of points, so one of the best assist seasons in Colonial's history as a sophomore. What changed for you from first year to second year? I think just like my confidence and stuff and um, already coming in ready to play. Um, freshman year, obviously nerves and stuff get the best of you for the first few games. And um, But last year I came in confident with my abilities. I uh, wanted to be a leader and I wanted to show the younger girls um, kind of how it's done. So I wanted to prove myself and I think that I did a pretty good job at doing that and I'm hoping to get even better this season. Well, speaking of leadership, you wear the A for uh, alternate captain this year. You're the only non-senior to have that. So how do you approach leadership personally? Um, I think that for me, like, I love the word leadership, and I think that um, I do think of myself as a good leader. I love to be vocal, and I love to... Uh, lead by doing so I like to show people kind of how it's done so um, it's truly an honor as there could have been many people on our team we have a lot of good leaders on this team so there could have been a lot of people that were an A or a C but um, it's definitely an honor to get to wear the letter and I'm really excited for the season. Well, you and the captain JC Gebhardt are tied for a second place in the entire nation 3.5 points per game you each have seven in the first two against Union can you point out something from that first weekend that you want to carry over here for the rest of the season? Uh, definitely just keep it going. Um, I think that our chemistry definitely clicked the first weekend and I mean if it can click the first weekend why can't it click the rest of the season so I'm really excited to move forward and to play with Jay uh, moving forward and um, hopefully our chemistry continues to be as good as it was the first weekend. Have you always been a playmaker or are you someone who when you got to RMU maybe that side of your game came to the forefront because you're around a lot of talented players as well? Um, I think I've always considered myself more of a playmaker than a natural goal scorer I would say. Um, I did score more goals I would say technically in junior hockey but um, I was still always more of a playmaker and got more assists and it's even um, easier to work and be a playmaker when you're playing with better people here like JC. Mm -hmm. Your major is accounting. How has that treated you and how do you want to use that when you graduate? Yeah, um, I'm a big numbers person. I know a lot of people hate them. So uh, I really like accounting and uh, definitely the numbers side of it. So I'm hoping to eventually write my CPA and uh, work for one of the big four firms. And um, I mean, I haven't really decided where I want to work yet, whether it's Canada, the United States. But um, I mean, it's all kind of playing it by you right now. Well, RMU has a huge weekend coming up. Hope you can make it down to the island. They're going to play all four of the national semifinalists from last year in their non-conference schedule. So this is the first of that I mentioned Minnesota in. Friday at 3, Saturday at 1, down here at the island. Go to rmucolonials.com for all the coverage.